Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the Everton News Daily. Regardless of some reports in absolutely terrible newspapers that we don't buy on Merseyside, Everton are not on the verge of administration and do not require a fire sale. Uh, there has been some stories put out today that um, have basically said Everton need to sell everybody and when the triple seven exclusivity period ends on Friday that Everton will have to immediately sell everybody and it's uh, it's going to be panic stations and 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 just creating drama within the the fan base um these reports are what we've been told false uh, Everton do not require a fire sale um and it will be business as normal for the football club. Yes, of course, there are issues surrounding the ownership of the football club, but uh, Everton will carry on business as normal, and Sean Dyche and Kevin Felwell uh, have already started the process of a plan of buying players, selling players that will help Everton this summer. Um, reports where that Jared Branthwaite would have to be sold for way below his uh, valuation but also but there's also no truth in those uh, reports as well he will not be sold on the cheap and yeah Everton will have a have a figure that they want for him a fee and it's up to clubs to come in and match that and and if they do then there's a possibility Jared Banthway could leave Everton this season the same way um Onana, Dominic Carvin Lewin, Jordan Pickford could possibly leave if someone was to match the valuation Everton have for them as well. So no need to panic. Uh, these newspapers do not have inside stories. Certainly, certainly that particular newspaper that we do not mention or talk about or buy uh, on Merseyside. So the idea that that newspaper would have inside store uh, inside sources just utter utter nonsense. Yes, it will be a difficult summer and. Difficult decision will have to be made, but stuff like that does not help, and it certainly doesn't help when the fan base spreads those stories either when they know where that source comes from. So, um, yeah, there we go. We'll have to we'll have to wait and see. Of course, it will be difficult, as I said, but we will. Uh, the more time not reading that nonsense, the better it'll be for Everton. Everton have though today been linked with. Burnley centre-back Maxim Estive, 22-year-old centre-back, uh, came from France last summer, left-footed defender. Um, he played a total of 16 Premier League games last season, starting in 15 of them for Burnley. So, And obviously with um, Vincent Company just leaving the club as well and then being relegated there's going to be a lot of uncertainty at Burnley um, and I'm sure a few of their players who did okay will people will look at them because that ex that years of experience that they had in the Premier League will do all those players well and I just can't imagine that Burnley will be able to keep that uh, that team together West Ham are also looking at the player um, whether Everton would look at him maybe as a replacement for Jared Branthwaite or someone who can who could be his understudy and that would allow Everton to let the likes of Michael Keane go and the likes of Mason Holgate gone, who they obviously want to get rid of anyway, um, with the idea of maybe if Jared Brandwick does leave in the future, that he could come from being an understudy to a first choice in the first team. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, obviously, there's just a report in France at the moment. And finally, Seamus Coleman has been called up to the Ireland squad to face games against Hungary and Portugal. Obviously, they'll be playing friendlies. Um, you know, <laughs> there's either teams who are playing in the Euros or teams who are playing against the teams who are playing in the Euros in these friendlies. And Ireland, sadly, are one of those teams. But Seamus Coleman, we all know that he will turn up for Ireland no matter what while he's still playing. And um, he obviously finished the season by playing Everton's last couple of games. So, um, he'll be going to play for Ireland and probably needs that little bit of game time before he goes and enjoys his summer holiday. So there you go. This has been the Everton News Daily. Uh, make sure to check out our exclusive interview with Henry Winter as he uh, looks back at Everton's season and obviously looks forward to the summer and next season and Everton's new stadium as well. Make sure you check out that right now. It is available to watch. Thanks for watching. See you later.